Oh yeah, start bouncing for me, would you? All right, well, just came back for four night shifts. Haven't slept a wink. Got myself a new lens, if you haven't noticed. Wide angle. <laughs> um, yeah, quickly gonna just move this dirt. Got all of this dirt dropped off from a Kijiji ad, but he said he's got some clean fill, and actually, it's pretty, pretty decent. It's actually, um, like almost like topsoil a couple little rocks here and here but he also dropped off a whole pile of field stones which is kind of awesome kind of not i got a use for them though We're going to be uh getting a whole pile of rain here shortly to add to the mud bog so i think while i got some traction on this uh wood chip path i'm gonna try and move some of this dirt out over here like I was showing you guys, I want to build up this whole area. So I think, I mean, it's really wet right here still. I'm going to end up putting a culvert here. Connect this uh, natural drainage here, and hopefully that'll help drain some of this out. I think I can get somewhere over here. I'm just going to start dumping the dirt over here. We'll get the tractor fired up and move a bit of dirt. Still recording. So you can see uh, how well this little tractor works, picking up this uh, pretty moist soil. The plan is all this dirt that was dropped off here, I think it's about five yards worth. Um, I'm just gonna kind of push it all out here and try to uh, get this little bit of an area started anyways. I'll rake it out. So I can't really get the machine in here right now. Like, you know, we still got huge puddles. Stuff like that. It's not too bad over here. Yeah, so that's a nice wide angle for you. Um, try and dump a bunch here, build this up, and then uh, those rocks, I believe. I think those rocks I'll take with the bucket. If I can get in here this week, this uh, these days off, I will. I'm just gonna place them kind of on the outside, all the way around. We're gonna try our best to. Uh, cover the perimeter with these field stones and then uh, hopefully that keeps some of the uh, animals out we'll have to see All right, well, that's decent little progress for now. I'm gonna go inside and hang out with the wife and kid and then we'll turn this into a uh, night shift here. Later on tonight, I'll get the rest of that moved over. We'll just try and hit it with a rake a couple times and smooth it out. We're getting, like, like I said, over 10 millimeters of rain, so I just want this dirt off the driveway before it makes a hell of a mess. <laughs> A little bit of night shift work. Really want to get these piles uh, out in the back before it pisses rain tomorrow. So, you know, sometimes you got to put in the long hours. All right. Well, we played in the mud for long enough tonight. <laughs> Wasn't even supposed to do anything today, so 
I think I made pretty decent progress. Let's have a look. I'm sure you guys remember how big that, uh, that pile was. I have knocked it down successfully. This little area here, unfortunately, it's always going to be a shit show because I'm getting like 10 loads of uh, dirt dropped off here in a couple weeks. So, um, you know, it's just going to be, they're going to be dump trucks constantly just dumping all back through in here. So, it is what it is, you know. It'll make one hell of a before and after photo, I can tell you that. <laughs> like right now, it it doesn't look like, yeah, I can't, I can't really see the end result right now to be honest, but I know it's out there somewhere. So we'll just keep pecking away at it like we do. Wake up tomorrow and start fresh. Good morning. Welcome to the homestead. Well, I wouldn't quite call it that yet, but welcome to construction project, Gilbert's house. Got up super early today. I'm gonna uh, keep going with the uh, the free dirt pile and get that all raked out squared. Um, today's gonna be pretty basic, I think. The weather apparently made a little bit of a change. It's gonna be plus 10 and not raining. <laughs> So I might go ahead and uh, finally hang those two by fours. And I got a really, really, really good deal on some chicken fence. So I think I'll grab about 250 feet of that. And probably won't get around to installing it on these days off, but I'll have it ready for, uh, for when, I, uh, when I have more time. Let's go get the tractor fired up and keep getting after here. You know what's insane is I Literally just got a haircut. Like, getting a little thin on top. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't uh, record a whole lot of what I was doing just there. But I don't know if you guys remember from last week, but I had a huge pile of uh, wood that I got. Um, I went and picked up at the trailer there. So I took advantage of the um, thin, thin, thin layer of frost that we have out here. It's about 10 below overnight. It was 10 below overnight. So some stuff got a bit cold, which was kind of good. I was able to take the tractor um, out back there. I'd really like to get some lights out back there, but you know, I'm stressing the old electrical out as it is. But, you know, I dragged the, dragged the wood out there with the machine. She's covered in mud, but you know, I'm really, really impressed with this little machine. Like, you know, having the some weight on the back would have really helped keep get some traction with the rear tires. But even that bucket fully loaded, I mean, maxed right out. This thing just crawls right through the mud. So, props to uh, Kubota for making a decent four-wheel drive. <laughs> See, that, that was even without the diffs locked. You lock the diffs and you're pretty much going anywhere. Yeah, so I'm going to peck away at this again. Just going to get the... Uh, couple more scoops of wood over there. I'll load those uh, field stones. I'll dump them way back there. filming right now eh? and I got you on there singing <laughs> all right that was a really weird angle I'll never do that again <laughs> 
So yeah, basically we're uh, going to the bank to ask them for $200,000 to do this uh, addition and a little bit extra. Um, I want to do the driveway and some other stuff, but I'll show you what we got planned. I don't have the plans with me right now, but basically all this coming out to about that 4x4. Four four. Um, we're going to have a giant great room and then two extra bedrooms. So um, yeah, we're, you know, already really way too far in debt and we're looking to go a little more in debt. Why not, eh? You only live once. Um, other than that, the rest of the day is going to be just uh, getting this garden situated. I've got my dirt all piled up there, so it's ready to get raked out. Um, I don't know if you guys remember how big this pile was. That's all pretty well cleared away. I mean, it looks like shit, but I'm going to clean it up. And I think I left the keys in the tractor. Probably not a good idea. Nope, they're missing. Even better. Let's get to the bank and see what they say. Alright, well, we're back from the bank. Went pretty well. Um, first time getting a construction loan, so definitely lots to learn there. Um, yeah, just gonna keep going with the uh, with the uh, garden here. I'll rake all these, uh, rake all this dirt nice and flat, and I think I'll start trying to cut these two by fours. I got a uh, hookup for that uh, chicken fence. We're cheap which is key because you get it off Amazon, you think you're getting a good deal, but sometimes you want to shop local, you know? I found them for like half as much anyways. I'll show you guys when I pick it up. Take a moment right here Feeling like a sub gear Driving towards the sun With a rose and a gun Feel the wind in my hair Going nowhere I swear Alright, so we're off to the races. My wife had to go inside with the uh, with the baby. But yeah, that's the general idea, keeping it nice and straight. I'm, I'm definitely going to have to come by and I'm going to lower this set at least a few inches. Um, originally I was going to just build it up more because it is a low spot right through there. But um, it's a little too noticeable <laughs> for my likings anyway. So that will just keep going all the way around. I'll, tackle that later some other time I gotta go problem is the way the land's laying right it's nice and straight here but I think if I just go down two inches even the length of a board four inches even I should be able to keep it nice and straight I don't know we'll see anyways so that's general idea <laughs> So, jammed about nine tacos into my gut. Managed to get out here before the sun goes down completely. I uh, just wanted to show you the progress. Um, I've got all the cross members in for the fence here, I'll show you. Got all the cross members in. And basically, I remember now what happened. So last year, last summer, I, you know, I dug all this up. This all was bush, and I mean like eight foot bush, right? Um, I when I dug this all up, like this is the low spot here, through here. That's why these these um, uh, two by four by tens are raised a little bit because I plan on bringing a quite a bit of dirt in 
because I really want this mounted up so that it stays drier longer, you know. Even though we're using these cinder blocks for the raised garden bed, four foot by eight foot long, um, in whatever configuration my wife's got figured out. So, you know, I, I just want it to be not a mud bog. So once I get, you know, I'm going for about five or six dump loads, like full triaxle dump loads. Bring this all up, level it out, get the cinder blocks in, and then put the wood chip path, like I was saying. So, um, you know, I think this looks pretty good. Uh, the next step for us is to grab, uh, they come in a three foot height and they're 50 feet long, chicken fence. And they're pretty cheap too. I think they're like 29 or well, 30 bucks. Um, it's 200 feet, 50 by 50 by 50 by 50 minus the door here. But I'll just pick all those up, three feet each. That should give me a little bit overhang for the tops, and then I can put some under underground as well. And then we'll jam all the field stones on the bottom, and uh, hopefully keep the critters out. Anyways, so um, yeah, thanks for watching. A multi-day vlog here. Um, it's been a really long day. <laughs> I'm just going to clean the tools up. It's going to rain tomorrow, 10 mils. So this will all be underwater for at least another week. So I'm really happy I got this little bit done. Getting closer and closer to getting this uh, garden started, hopefully May 2-4. So anyways, I'll catch up to you guys and have a good night.